We try all sorts of boats on this program, but today we are going to try out the best. In sala macchine abbiamo. There's 4,860 horsepower in this machine room. As we cast off the moorings and warm up the engines, let's have a look at the boat. Pershing doesn't have anything in common with any other motor yacht. Even the furniture and fittings go above and beyond. The 82 model is what you would call sheer Italian excellence, recognised by international experts who have showered this boat with impressive awards. It is 23 metres and 99 centimetres long, 5.5 metres wide, the block coefficient equal to 0.23, so it practically goes like an arrow through the water. Its aggressive look clearly reveals its intentions, and performance-wise, it takes your breath away. The living area opens up to the outside with a sliding glass door, divided in three, that disappears via an ingenious, fully automated hydraulic system. The cockpit is an extension of the living room and consists of a living room come relaxation area, which is protected from the sun. The sun deck is at the stern. Soft leather sofas, glass tables and exclusive furnishing accessories really appeal with their classy modern style, come from the likes of famous Italian companies like Poltrona Frau and Casina. The lines of the low-level furniture draw the eye with its open pore or brushed oak and varnished wench. The helm shows off all this boat's technology, from the form of the dashboard to the driving seat. The doors open automatically on the side decks and even a portion of the roof of the deck house opens electrically. In addition to the traditional bow sun deck at the bow, there's a very cosy living area and an awning to protect from the sun. Putting in a table, this area becomes a lovely place to be when docked. The Pershing 82 is at the forefront of technological excellence in everything. There is a stairway made of carbon leading to the sun deck, which leaves the cockpit clear. The upper deck is just made for the thrill of speeding along out in the open. The dashboard is normally lowered for aerodynamic and aesthetic reasons, but when it's needed, an electrohydraulic controller brings it into position and even raises a small windshield. The armchairs convert into lounge chairs and the sun area with electrically adjustable backrests are another original and functional accessory of this small fly. The stern deck is hollow above the tender storage area, which itself is equipped to house a jet ski and dinghy. And to make it easier to get to the beach, a portion of the bottom can be folded. There are three cabins for guests, one with twin beds that can be made into a double, another double with two single beds, and at the bow there is a VIP guest room with its own ensuite bathroom.
dimensione e potenza. Può essere pilotata da un comune di portista o deve essere affidata a un esperto. A boat of this size and power can be driven by any yachtsman or could be left to a professional captain. Ok, let's go in manual. Abbassiamo le propulsioni di superficie. Abbassiamo Lowering the propulsion area, lowering the flaps and let it go. Anche se le eliche sono completamente immerse, la potenza Even if the propellers are completely immersed, the power and the torque of these engines is such that they can move them without having to first bring them up to the surface to cavitate. As the boat gains speed, we can raise the flaps little by little. In this way, we eliminate the brake, which would slow the boat down. Isn't it obvious? Al crescere del numero dei giri, as the number of revolutions goes up, we can even bring the surface propulsions a little higher. As the speed increases, we can remove the flaps completely. Adesso che la velocità è oltre i 35 nodi, now that we're going over 35 knots, still we can raise the propulsion surface more and bring the propellers up to the water level so that there is minimum resistance and maximum efficiency. And this is how we're going to go as fast as possible. Tutte queste manovre vi sembrano troppo complicate? Beh, non c'è problema, state a vedere. Premiamo un tap. All these maneuvers seem too complicated, don't worry, just watch. Press a key on this central display and look, everything is now done automatically by a preset onboard computer which of course can be set to load different configurations. Con il sistema Auto Trim. With the Auto Trim system, you don't have to do anything, just speed up. Automaticamente le propulsioni di The propulsion surface is lowered automatically and the flaps lower at least until the boat starts to plane at about 16 to 17 knots. Al salire del numero dei giri, flap e trasmissioni As revs rise, the flaps and transmission rise too, in a way that has a different effect on the push of the boat. Less resistance and more efficiency, all done automatically. È incredibile, 40 nodi, una velocità impossibile da raggiungere. It's amazing, we're at 40 knots, an impossible speed for many motor yachts this size, and look how I'm driving the boat, with the levers on the right hand, and not using the rudder at all. But a tiller, a small lever that lets me drive easily, but also in a convenient but still precise way. So, 40 knots, but we're only at 2,100 RPM, and there's still a lot of gas and speed to be had. The automatic control system also optimizes fuel consumption, another incredible plus for this boat. Then on the MTU monitor, we don't just see the instantaneous consumption, but also how much is left, depending on the speed we are going. 57 tonnellate 57 tons of boat cruising at a third of its potential 24 meters long 4870 horsepower and more than 46 knots which is more than the boatyard claims it can do incredible and you shouldn't always go so fast you can even go happily at 30 knots but with this boat it seems hardly anything and the noise or lack of it is unbelievable less than 70 dba it's extremely quiet la leva del tiller può essere utilizzata a tutti gli effetti come il timone the tiller handle can be like the helm and look at the immediate response and how tight the turning radius is dello scafo e quanto è stretto il raggio di virata not only that, but the trim's automatic control system makes the external transmission slightly lower so that the load on the motors is absolutely identical, which means they work really well. Rallentando il sistema di controllo automatico del trim Slowing down the trim's automatic control system brings back all the controls, the propulsion and flaps ready to plane again. Il Pershing 82 si è dimostrato The Pershing 82 has proven by its performance today to be a true Pershing with its technology, its style. 
But this test has now created a serious problem for the crew. Do you think we will ever find a boat better than this one?